In this slideshow, I will describe the Heliophysics Events Knowledge Base, along with ISOL Search, which is one of the tools used to find entries in the Knowledge Base. The Heliophysics Events Knowledge Base, or HEC, H-E-K for short, was developed by the Helioinformatics team at the Lockheed Martin Solar and Astrophysics Laboratory. The HEC is a system consisting of two main components. The Heliophysics Events Registry is a database of events and features found to have occurred on the Sun, such as a flare, filament, or active region. The Heliophysics Coverage Registry is a database of observational sequences. For example, an entry in the Heliophysics Coverage Registry might describe that the Solar Optical Telescope on Hinode was observing the North Polar region for a certain period of time on some day of interest. Together, these two databases, as well as the interfaces between them, form the HEC, and they enable researchers to more efficiently find much of the data relevant to their research without the need to download and sift through terabytes of data. The HEC also allows useful information to be recorded in the form of new features or events, as well as in the form of notes and comments about existing entries. I will now describe ISOL Search which is the main tool that users can use to search for events contained in the HEC. ISOL search can be found at the URL listed on the slide. ISOL search consists of several panels. The rightmost information panel shows links to the user guide, user video, SolarSoft IDL routines, and the application programming interface documentation. The last two links are particularly useful for developers who wish to write their own interfaces to interact with the HEC. To the left of the information panel, the grayish panel lists the results of a query. By default, ISOL search searches for events on a particular day. That day is the one shown in the search panel along the left side. The start and end dates can be adjusted either by using the calendar icons, as is shown here, or by manually entering the desired dates in the box as provided. Pressing the search button at the bottom of the panel will resubmit the query. When the search is completed, icons will appear at the locations of the features and events contained in the HEC during the specified date range. These features and events are also displayed in the list to the right of the display panel. To find out what the icons represent, click on the key in the lower right hand corner of the display panel. A new browser window will pop up showing a list of the feature and event types currently supported by the HEC. Clicking on one of the icons on the disk will bring up additional information about that particular event in the panel to the right of the event list, including a more detailed event description, links to summary movies, and the XML code associated with this event. Advancing the start and end dates by one day is achieved by clicking on the single right arrow found in the bottom left hand corner of the display panel. Clicking on the double right arrow advances the search by one week. Similarly, clicking on the single or double left arrows searches backward in time for one day or one week. The default display is an orthographic projection of the solar disk. To see results on a Carrington grid, simply click on the Carrington map button in the top right hand corner of the display panel. Clicking on the disk button switches back to the disk view. In this example, a user is examining an emerging flux region. Clicking on the movie link brings up an AIA movie of this region. After noticing something interesting, the user decides to comment on this event. This is done by clicking on the speech bubble icon at the top of the summary panel. Registered users enter their username and password at this point. Unregistered users can click on the sign up link in the lower left hand corner of the box and fill out the registration form. After logging on, the user can type in a comment. Once the Submit Comment button is clicked, the comment will appear in the summary panel below the basic information about this event, whenever this event occurs in a query. In this case, the user is commenting on the relationship between this emerging flux region and a neighboring coronal hole. The user is also noting the effect that this emerging flux region has on the overlying loops seen in the AIA image. Whenever a user clicks on an event, 
The summary panel provides basic information about this event, including time, location, event type, etc. At the same time, ISOL Search queries the heliophysics coverage registry for nearby observations. These results show up under the heading Observations in the Neighborhood. In this example, we see that both SOT and TRACE were making observational sequences of this active region. Hovering the cursor over the individual entries results in a rectangle drawn on the solar disk indicating the field of view for this particular observation. One can click on the entry to look at movies and to get data. Here, the user is about to click on an entry leading to a trace movie, and after that, we'll click on a link leading to the SOT magnetogram of this active region. Links on these pages also direct the user to a place where they can download the data used to make these summary movies and images. Events and features are entered into the HEC via both automated detection algorithms and by user annotation. Modules that analyze the stream of AIA and HMI data are currently operating at both Lockheed and Stanford. Codes running at other institutions can also remotely submit events using HTTP POST command sequences. In addition, users can interactively annotate the data using the Panorama software and its associated annotator. These are described in a separate video. The Heliophysics Coverage Registry can be used to request data. We recommend first seeing if an ISOL search query already brings up a data set that might be useful. If these data sets do exist, then they can be downloaded in a straightforward manner. If not, you can go to the Get AIA Data webpage at the URL shown here and follow the example shown in the next slide. In the future, there will be a direct link from ISOL search to the Get AIA data page that pre-fills in many of the requested items. In the Get AIA data page, the user enters the start date and time and stop date and time of the data sets they're looking for. After selecting wavelengths of interest, the user can then interactively draw a bounding box on the sample image and then fill in their name and email along with a descriptive title of the dataset that they're requesting. Listing the maximum number of frames is also requested in order not to download too much data. Clicking on the order button We'll send this request to the AIA cutout service. You will be notified by email when your cutout is finished. For more information on the Heliophysics Events Knowledge Base, go to www.lmsal.com/heck.